we talk a lot about signs and symptoms in paediatrics, sleep disorder, breathing or sleep apnea. Uh, this is a little Inian. You want to say hi? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, over there. And Inian's mum is a dentist, um, so she's brought in her son uh, for a consultation with me. Uh, now, when I look in his palate, even though it's toy, he's got a very, very narrow palate, he's seen an Enos and Throat doctor who's identified large um, adenoids, uh, but at this stage, nothing's been done about that. So let's see if we can do an intraoral exam so you can see the signs and symptoms. Right? Okay, now we have a little look in your teeth. Come on, here. So that's been good. <laughs> Okay. All right. Yes, video, exactly. You ready? Look at your teeth there. You bite together. Good boy. Close your teeth. Okay. So we see a very classic class two jaw, 100% overbite and a high palate. That's it. Good boy. At the back of the tongue, you see there's no airway space. He's a Malamparty 4. Um, so classically, as mum's reporting, he's sleeping with his mouth open. And as you just uh, saw, or maybe he'll show us in a minute, he's full of energy, right? So, uh, right, Mum? Yeah. So that hyperactive behaviour is classic in this age group of someone who is probably not getting enough oxygen. So the first thing I'm going to do is send him for a sleep study. I work with a very good inos and throat doctor, Dr. Paul Paddle, who does the home sleep studies. Um, that's not good, that's not good. And, and the home sleep study will allow me to, to really see um, there he is. <laughs> that's that's my little friend. Um, the home study study will tell me if he generally has apnea. Now, if he has apnea, then I would put him on a on a CPAP. But I know the CPAP's not going to be the be all and end all. We then start working on why he has palate. But I want to get him sleeping better so his behaviour is better. <laughs> Otherwise. Can you imagine trying to fit an expander in this little chap? That's uh, that's going to be the challenge, right? Uh, yes, yeah, so I just want to share with you typical day in my practice. Um, children like this put sometimes in the too hard basket, maybe put on Ripple, etc. What they really need is good airway, and that's a combination of clearing the airway, in nose and throat, widening the color, just making sure they're getting the right oxygen. But the baseline is going to be a pediatric uh, sleep study. All right, thank you for letting us do that.